Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy, R7 Noob, and welcome back to a brand new video. So, a little backstory before I even start this video, is that I used to have a really old aim trainer, quote unquote, aim trainer, that simply was just a couple of ads in a lost sector on Titan, and they would always stay in the same place, and I would kind of just practice my aim on them. Yes, it doesn't sound too practical, but it worked for me for a while. So that's why I set out to find a new aim trainer. This one you see on screen right now is called Dreams, and the only con to this is that this costs £35, and that's a lot, surprisingly. For some people, that's quite a lot of money to spend on something little as an aim trainer. And you're probably wondering, well, Splash, is it worth it? I'm here to tell you that, yes, <laughs> yes, it is worth it. So, with this aim trainer, you get a load of different options, such as tracking, uh, what's it called, like 3D, I don't know what you call it, but it's like, it's like 3D tracking, like let's say you're playing Destiny and people are all running around you, it's basically like how fast you can flick from one enemy to the other, and it's really good, because what this does is the more you practice, the better your aim gets, the better your action time gets, and the ability to actually time yourself to see if you are actually improving. This is equivalent to Kodax, or Kovax, I don't know how you, how you say it properly, but for console. So, to actually download this application and actually find where it is, firstly you're going to need to head to the PlayStation Store and obviously, like I said before, search up Dreams. It should be the top uh, search result, it will look like this when it comes up. But then what you're going to do is launch it up and you're going to get some like weird intro screen and stuff. Just don't worry, when you get past it, it's just, yeah, you'll, you'll see what I mean. But once you get past all the intro screen, you'll get this screen here where you get to search. And all you're going to do is search up FPS Aim Trainer, and this one will pop up on screen. And yeah, as simple as that. My routine before I actually open up Destiny 2, I simply go to the top option, to the squares. And this might look really easy, but believe it or not, when you're first getting on, it's really difficult. This is more of the welcoming kind of section, like this is the easiest one out of all of them. But also, if you want to adjust sensitivity, because before I bought this, I didn't know if you could able to adjust the sensitivity or anything like that, but yes, if you see on screen right now, you can adjust it to literally pinpoint accuracy. It's exactly like Fortnite, but for me, I play on a full sensitivity on Destiny 2, so this is mine on screen. But like I said, it won't work for everyone, so you gotta try and find your niche. But then once I do the bricks, I go to the tracking. Once you do the tracking, I kind of just go through all of them at that point. And then when I feel extremely warmed up, I go into Destiny, I go into PvE, track some enemies, and yeah, go into quick play, have some fun there, and then go into trials.com. But yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. I know, I kind of ran out of breath towards the end here. But if you enjoyed, please subscribe. Uh, Senshi is on the way also, the Destiny film I'm working on. But I will see you all in the next video. Peace. Don't you know that